No napkins. Mm. That's better than I expected that. And what's the steak? That is uh, rump steak, 21 days matured, I think. And we just grilled that one. Um, we did a log cabin fire setup, which is quite a popular setup for, especially winter time and general cooking setups. It, um, it provides a bit of a smokeless fire to begin with when it first starts to burn. But yeah, that, that works well, didn't it? Because you've only got to light it. You don't have to tend to it very much. You just light it stack the logs up in the kind of log cabin fashion and, and let it burn away really. And yeah, like I said, it, the steak's easy enough to cook anyway on the grill, but... The smoke, isn't it? Definitely the smoke. Mm. Now we've got the uh, kettle going. Dad's got some soup, I've got some coffee. Mm. What do you think? Good, but what I think is the blood has soaked off this under our plates here, wooden plates. Might be able to use those wooden plates and put Mike's camera trap near it. See if the trail comes cam. in. Yeah. Put the trail camera in, which is here. Mm hmm. For those of you who don't know, uh, this is my log splitting axe, which I bought because I didn't want to work myself to the bone using my regular axe, which is a lot, lot thinner, a lot narrower. This one, you can see, look, it's very, very fat at the back end there. And of course, you can use this, it's great for driving stakes and it's really good, but you don't need to overexert yourself because once you get the momentum going with this, it goes through most things. Really good axe to have. Look, if you're backpacking somewhere, you wouldn't be taking one of these, would you? But this is a permanent camp and we get through some wood on this site. Okay, we've had a few inquiries about my old knife here in this sheath. It seems to be very, very strong. Now, I don't know the first things about knives, but is it military? It's got, to me, what we call in England, the fleur-de-lis. That's what I think that's called there. So does that mean anything to you guys? It's got a really nice steel. I don't know what. Mike would have to read that. It's, uh, it's heavy. Whitby, Whitby, made in... Calling something. 
Can't read that last bit, but... And there's so something no, on the other What's side. That? So it says... Yeah, Whitby. Oh, original Bowie knife. Is it what he's saying so, it is? Super hollow ground. Okay, and on the other side, he's got some writing. I have no chance of reading. Made in Germany. German ah, steel. German steel. Yeah. It is German steel. I thought it was good. It's nice. It's not heavy, but I tell you what, it's really, really nicely balanced. What do they call this piece here? The choil or finger guard, I think. Is, is, yeah. it, is it military for not cutting yourself? You know, in the military, in the army, so, you, you know, you, you can uh, <coughs> get in there. <laughs> I don't know, but there must be a name to that. You knife guys out there will know. I don't know. But ergonomically speaking, look, I've had it in my workshop and I've cleaned it all up and I've sharpened it. It's quite sharp. It's just got, a, for me, with my hands, big guy, no, but, you know, I'm not very big, so that fits absolutely lovely. So guys, we've done our steak, we've pretty much let the fire go out now and we're on our way out from camp, but gonna set up the trail cam again. If you've been watching our videos recently, you would have seen one recently where we got some awesome, awesome footage um, of some deer and uh, monk jack and things like that. Uh, putting it on the test, still testing it, but we're gonna leave it here for a couple of weeks now to see what comes up and sneaks up to us at camp. It's near the camp, isn't it? Now we've got a few things. We've got, we've heard that, because there are badger around here, there's wild badger. We've heard that jam, We've got a jar of jam here. Can be really good for, for drawing badgers in. And the benefit is, is it's not kind of solid like a piece of, of, of meat or, or you know nuts and things like that, but they can take it and carry it off. They stay there and they need to lick up the jam. So the idea is we've got this log, haven't we, Dad? Yeah, with steak blood on. We've got the steak, the steak stuff that we've already used. We're going to smear some jam on it, and we've also rumor has it Nutella does pretty well. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, these are hunting Nutella. people tell us this. You're yeah, yeah. These shooting. are proper hunting people yeah. that have told say, us this. Basically, if you're making a shot. You want that creature yeah. static to make your shot, not picking up, running away with yeah. the food. And that's what we're learning, you know, because we put bits and pieces out and it disappears. We're not shooting anything with this. No, no, we're no. just filming for nature purposes, really, to see what comes. And we're going to aim it, aren't we, Dad? We're going to try and aim it at camp. If so we we're going to see if we can get anything coming towards camp. There's no mammal here, guys, that's really going to be a danger or a threat to human, to us humans, like there is over in Canada. You guys have the, the, the bears, rings. you know, the bears and things like that. We don't have that here. The, the biggest threat we have is other humans. So we don't need to worry about mm. drawing animals to your camp. It's, they're not gonna do anything. There's, they're, they're more scared of us than, than we are of them. So. When the last thing you do in Canada or North America <laughs> yeah, is smear it's, jam and Nutella yeah. around don't, your camp. Don't do it? this oh. in the US or Canada or basically most other countries in the world. We're in England. Most animals are afraid of us over here. Uh, they are confident, but they generally won't attack us. So, you know, that's a little disclaimer for you there, guys. But let's go and set it up. Put it up, yeah, see if we can get up a bit higher. I reckon here, and we'll... He's getting the angle right, we need the angle right, yeah. There, that's look, that's gonna I sit. think that'd be okay, yeah. Well, we figured actually, guys, by putting it near the top of the, the tree there, it only had like a six foot radius that any mammal or animal could, could be captured on the camera. Whereas by having it down here looking out, we've got a much better chance, you know, a huge bigger area for animals to walk through and trigger the, uh, the camera. So we've stuck with it about, well, it's about our waist height, so we can get deer if they're in the, towards the camp, and it's facing our camp. And if you, you might be able to see this, guys. I'm gonna flick it on so we can have a look at the camera, what it sees, and you might be able to see our camp. There you go, look. Spot on our camp. So hopefully you can see that. You see a bit of the camera there anyway, but we're just interested to see, we'll probably see people there at night walking in there. We can see yeah. who's there, but that's on our camp now, so. Who knows, there might be deer or anything walk past. Possibly not, I'm saying, because there's been a lot of human activity there with us. Forestry people about For, as well, we'll walking away. Yeah, we'll see anyway. People, this is my daughter's breakfast. I'm using <laughs> she, she has this every morning and it's gonna taste a bit woody. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with that knife. Yeah, that pine needles won't hurt you. So I can see why these uh, people do shoot. If you smear it on, they have to stand there licking. So we've got Nutella here. I'm going to leave steak. the old steak slice for them with the Nutella. And just up there, we're going to put some jam on as well, I think. These are all in line with the... Uh, with the camera. With the cam. Let's see if we get a badger, a fox. Who knows? It's sweet. And uh, those house proud members in the bushcraft community might actually think, wow, that's really clean. We had a big storm here called Ophelia. 
It was a spin-off from a hurricane that started in the Central Atlantic, which has never, ever happened apparently before. And we got just under hurricane, it's a tropical storm, maybe six degrees it went up, it was 21 degrees, when in October it should be about 17. The leaves starting to come down because it is autumn, pine needle heaven. So, we want our camp clean, so I made what we used to call in the horse fraternity years ago, a switch, which is basically like a witch's broomstick. What do you guys call them? I've made this with nice supple twigs, and it obviously works well, because look at my patio. Superb. It's very neat, Dad. And what happened was, the other thing, while we were out here, well, basically trying to film storm damage as well, this was late yesterday afternoon, there was so much sand from the Sahara sucked up into this big storm of Elia, it made the sun go red. I mean, it was amazing. We were driving home, looked out and thought, hang on, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, or we got a sunset. It was the most bizarre thing I think I've seen. But thankfully, it's gone through now. Our camp's not been damaged, and we're all sweet and tidy. We're ready for the next one in here. Guys, thanks so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed this episode of TA Outdoors. Here at the Bushcraft Camp, there's a whole video series on how I built this, uh, this camp behind me. There's 11 episodes so far, uh, including the latest one, which is the big hunting tower behind you. I do plan to actually do some hunting around in this woodland. It's just the time of year at the moment, we've not got many sort of small game here. The nuts are just starting to come down. So, you know, late autumn time could be a really good time, especially for small squirrels and things like that. I have seen rabbit around and obviously there's big game, but I don't have a license really to, to be shooting that sort of thing. But we hope you've enjoyed it. If you like fishing, check out Dad's YouTube channel called TA Fishing. Uh, everything you need to know about fishing really and weekly uploads as well. Thanks so much for watching guys, we'll see you soon in another video.